flood. The passage states, and the waters prevailed exceedingly on the earth, and all the high hills under the whole heaven were covered. The waters prevailed 15 cubits upward, and the mountains were covered. And all flesh died that moved on the earth, birds and cattle and beasts, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, and every man, all in whose nostrils was the breath of the spirit of life, all that was on the dry land died. I mean, how many ways does, uh, does it have to be written? It's very clear here this is a worldwide global flood. But if you accept what the secular scientists are saying, not only do you have to explain away Genesis chapter 1 and 2 and then Genesis chapter 3, now you have to explain away the flood account as well, Genesis chapter 6 through 8. And yet the apostle Peter himself affirmed that they flood about this. Maybe he was also wrong about the transfiguration of Christ in Christ's resurrection, which he testifies to in 2 Peter 